Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about a few multiple choice questions on embolism. So let's start our questions. You'll read the question, we'll get the answers. A 38 year old overweight women presented to the emergency room with a four hour history of sharp pleuritic chest pain and deep sneer. That means difficulty in breathing. The day before she was on a long haul flight returning from Australia. She is a smoker and enjoys a sedentary lifestyle. She uses an oral contraceptive pill for birth control. On physical exam, her lungs are clear. Respiratory rate is 28 per minute. Her oxygen saturation is reduced to 91% on ambient air. What is your clinical diagnosis? So she has pleuritic chest pain. She has deep sneer. She has low oxygen saturation. She has increased respiratory rate, which is called trachypnea. She has a long haul flight from Australia, so it may take around 17 to 18 hours. Long flight from Australia to the United States. So we have these choices, pneumothorax, pneumonia, acute pericarditis, pulmonary embolism, acute coronary syndrome. What would be the differential diagnosis? These are the all are differential diagnosis. What would be the clinical diagnosis? Answer should be what? Answer should be pulmonary embolism. This is the answer. Okay, not pneumothorax, no chest injury, no instrumentation, no pneumonia, no high fever in this lady. No acute pericarditis, no history of viral infection. And acute pericarditis, usually patient pain is decreased when they lean forward in sitting position. Pulmonary embolism is the diagnosis. Acute coronary syndrome, that may happen, but this it may not be associated with pleuritic chest pain and low oxygen saturation and trachypnea. That is the condition, acute coronary syndrome, due to lack of blood supply to the cardiac muscle, due to a ischemic condition of the heart. Okay, so our choice is pulmonary embolism. This is the answer. The right and left pulmonary arteries are branches of which of the following? Right pulmonary artery, left pulmonary artery. They are coming out of the pulmonary trunk. So this is the answer. These are not, these are not, answer is here. Pulmonary trunk has two division. One is left pulmonary artery, another is the right pulmonary artery. Left pulmonary artery is for the left lung. Right pulmonary artery is for the right lung. Okay, so our answer is A. Go to question number three. All four pulmonary veins open into the which chamber of the heart? Left atrium, right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, right auricle. All four pulmonary veins. Two pulmonary veins from two from each lung. We have four pulmonary veins usually, and all four pulmonary veins opens into the left atrium. So A is the answer. Left atrium. Okay. Now most of the pulmonary embo emboli originate from where? Source of origination of the pulmonary embolus. So, is it from aneurysm, the ascending aorta, the dissecting aneurysm, the dissecting aneurysm of the descending thoracic aorta, thrombosis from the median cubital vein, lower extremity deep vein thrombosis. Most of the pulmonary emboli originate from lower extremity deep vein thrombosis. Specifically, the venous spaces of the calf muscles, the muscle at the back of the leg, the soleus muscle, maybe gastric nemus muscle, but mostly it is the soleus muscle, where there is some deep venous 
synapses spaces there is a site of pulmonary embolism especially in case of prolonged immobilization or, or after a surgery okay due to bone fracture or trauma the embolus may go to the deep vein not necessarily in the calf muscle maybe other part of the lower limb maybe in the hip fracture okay so mostly it is lower extremity deep venous thrombus but maybe fracture of the hip bone or they do during the or as a, a complication of prolonged delivery of the baby there may be pelvic embolus there may be some type of some type of blood clotting disorder but mostly lower extremity deep vein thrombosis is the origination of the pulmonary emboli so answer is d d is the answer okay here all of the following statement about the pulmonary embolism is true except for one the exception is what paradoxical embolus may develop in atrial septal defect yes in atrial septal defect the embolus may go to the atrial septum the from the right atrium it may go to the left atrium then go to the left ventricle so there is paradoxical embolus because of the presence of an abnormal hole abnormal gap in the intraatrial septum okay settle embolus develop in the pulmonary vein no settle embolus develop at the bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk into left pulmonary artery right pulmonary artery settle embolus is a deep devastating condition person may die within minutes due to settle embolus entire lung will not get any blood any blood from the pulm for pulmonary circulation so there may be breathing but no gaseous exchange and the patient may die within few minutes the patient who has had one pe this is pulmonary embolism is at high risk for more yes most pulmonary emboli around 60 to 80 percent are clinically silent yes they are very small they are broken down in the small pulmonary arteries large pulmonary embolus may cause right heart failure and sudden death yes it may lead to right heart failure it may lead to acute core pulmonary and sudden death is possible specifically in case of very large embolus blocking the pulmonary trunk or the the major or major branch like that that of the bifurcation pulmonary trunk maybe the main pulmonary artery at the beginning so it may block the entire pulmonary circulation very quickly and that may lead to right sided heart failure and sudden death okay here is some picture we took some from conception pulmonary embolism here it develop in the calf muscles the blood in the vein here shown red by convention in our anatomy we always use the blue color for the blood okay this is the venous blood we accept that at this time this is the vein deep vein deep vein present in the soleus muscle the calf muscle maybe in the gastrocnemius muscle mostly soleus muscle from that deep vein the thrombus will be dislodged as embolus it will go to the popliteal vein then femoral vein external iliac vein common iliac vein inferior vena cava and it will go from the from, by the inferior vena cava like this, this is the inferior vena cava to the right atrium from right atrium going to the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle from right ventricle it will go to the pulmonary trunk and it, will, it may block here as saddle thrombus very rarely that happen usually it goes further down it may block a particular part and there will be necrosis of this tissue this tissue will not get any pulmonary circulation because of blockage here okay it may lead to pleuritis it may lead to hemoptysis okay if it is very large block here somewhere then entire lung may be damaged if it is block here is a saddle embolus so both lung will not get any blood 
that will be devastating person may die okay so deep venous thrombosis from the calf muscle to the right atrium by inferior vena cava by tricuspid valve in the right ventricle by the pulmonary trunk going outside the heart okay to the lung by means of the pulmonary artery so if it is small it may block here it may block here it may block here if it is large it may it may block the entire lung if it is very large that may cover both the pulmonary arteries the left pulmonary artery right pulmonary artery and the pulmonary trunk area that will be the saddle thrombus that is devastating condition okay so this is a image i have taken from microsoft powerpoint online picture creative common and i put this embolus here this is the embolus this is the saddle embolus this saddle embolus here blocking the left pulmonary artery and right pulmonary artery okay so it may be may progress further this is the saddle embolus that may be devastating that is devastating that may kill a person within minutes okay so these are the answer key of the pulmonary embolism if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now